Paris has been gripped by an infestation of bedbugs. Good. The French capital is crawling with the pests as the number of sightings has soared in recent weeks. And a warning, they could be on their way to London next. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Joining us is the owner of Bed Bug Limited, David Kane. I think he specialises in bed bug extermination. David, welcome to Talk Today. Um, please, please, what is this all about? This is a massive story. What, what, what's the truth? Are they coming over on boats, these bugs? I mean, well, the French will probably let them come, won't they, to be fair? Well, to be honest, they're already here. Um, and the reality is that bed bugs are a global problem. They've been happening everywhere around the world. But at the moment, at this particular point in time, there's a big focus on Paris because people are getting wise, taking pictures on their phone, posting it on TikTok. So there's a lot more social awareness about, about the problem. But the reality is we have probably an equal level of problem in London at the moment, and we have done for years and years. So people are aware of it because it's being made public knowledge. But the reality is this is a problem that the UK has had for the last 20 years, to be perfectly honest. David, bringing it back to basics, what exactly is a bed bug yes. and what sets them apart from different insects? OK. They're a really ancient organism. They used to be parasites of dinosaurs, and when the big mass extinction event occurred, the bed bugs survived. Now, that's a really important fact because they're very adapted organisms. So they've been a pest of man since we lived in caves. They peaked in the 1930s to 1950s when a third of all homes in London had them. They got brought under control in, after the Second World War. The problem is because we haven't had a public education drive, because we haven't been educating children in schools, the problem is allowed to creep back into society. And to be honest, it's been ignored by successive governments, by trade bodies, um, because it's a subject that we don't like to talk about. And David, as a result... David, 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 um, I love the, the I love Le Bug's life on the screen and I love <laughs> the way you say they've been allowed to creep back into people's lives uh, because it's breakfast time for many and I don't want to do this because it makes me feel sick. Um, how do we, what do we do? How do we get rid of them, my friend? What, what, what do people need to do? OK, two important critical factors. One, when you travel, check the bed before you sleep in it so that you avoid contact in the first place. Now, if people start doing that, then the problem immediately stops spreading as rapidly. Now, the problem is that covers beds. It doesn't cover cinemas, public transport, oh, hospitals, God. restaurants, etc. So what you have to do is look after your own home. We all spend on average 180 hours a month sleeping in our beds. So what we need to do is spend 30 minutes cleaning and looking at our bed and we're looking for live samples, car skins and faecal traces. And if you have a bed bug monitor on the bed, wow. you're looking for the little black dots on the detection skirt around the outside. And what are now, they? Is that, is that faeces? Is that bed bug remnants? Yes. Yeah. That's, be that's bed bug poo, for want of a better word. Wow. And basically what happens is with this device, as they enter it, they stop, they go to the toilet, <laughs> and by looking for the poo on the doorstep, you know that there's a problem. I don't now, quite know it, what I don't quite know what to say. Uh, if somebody does have a problem, obviously there are many companies, not just yours. Uh, somebody can come and get rid of this infestation, and we're not going to terrify everybody who's watching this this morning that their lives are going to be covered in creepy crawlers. It can be <laughs> dealt with, right? It can be dealt with, and even the most extreme cases. But you need someone who has experience to help you through the problem, because a lot of the chemicals don't work because they're completely resistant. And equally, you have to understand how did the problem start in the first place so that that mistake isn't repeated. David, I have to go. Thank you very much indeed. It is a bug's life. Um, I've started itching. <laughs> I know. I feel, I feel a little bit creepy right now. And can I just repeat what I said at the beginning? The problem is in France.